Namaste everyone, in today's video we are going to discuss about do operators or you can call them action operators too. So here you can see that we have an observable here which is a basic observable so if you call this just it gives you an observable nothing else. So uh, the moment you call dot subscribe on this observable uh, you start getting the emission here right. So but uh, if what if you want to do something before the on subscribe right. So if someone subscribe to your observable just before the subscription happen you want to do something so for that there is an operator called do on subscribe so what it actually gives you is the disposable disposable is the same object that you get whenever you call the subscribe here so this is the same object that you get here but uh, we are not going to do anything uh, with this disposable because as you know that if we call the dispose here there will be no more emissions here right so if you haven't watched our very video related to the disposable you can go ahead and check that card or the description of this video so what we are going to do here we are going to write a simple uh, print statement here and uh, we are going to just uh, say that okay do unsubscribe and uh, yeah that's it uh, so I'm just gonna write something like subscribed yeah so let's go ahead and uh, run to see what actually happens oh sorry so just let me comment it out and there we go it basically uh, prints this subscribed here before the emission actually has start start to happen right so this is the purpose of this do on subscribe so what we do actually is uh, whenever in the real case scenario whenever you subscribe to an observable you want to do some basic setup before the subscription happens like you want to set something in the uh, set, set some default value or anything like that that you want to do so uh, this is uh, in this video we're not going to show you any real life uh, scenario but we're going to do it in the future videos very soon so as you have seen that the do on subscribe here so you might be thinking about okay what happens what when we uh, dispose of this item right so uh, is there any subscribe is there any like uh, operator for this like do on uh, dispose <laughs> yeah there is but uh, we're not going to discuss about do on dispose here because uh, it, it needs a separate video to discuss about this because do on dispose does not work in specific case scenarios so we're going to discuss about all this but in the next video so stay tuned uh, so we are going to discuss about a little bit of different uh, thing here called the do on next so let's go ahead and see how it works so this is another observable here so what we are going to do here we're going to chain do on next here right so what basically happens is it, it this gives you the item that is going through this stream right so it is the this is basically the same item that this subscriber gets here right so let's go ahead and uh, write our example then we will see what actually happens here so let's go ahead and print out something like do on next and uh, let's go ahead and print the item and let's run it so as you can see that do on next prints first then the item then the subscri subscriber gets the item then the do on next gets the item then the subscriber gets the item so what actually happens do on next happens before the subscription subscriber get the item so you might be thinking okay we can modify the item here then <laughs> no it's not there for this purpose you can you can just ch check this that how what is the item right now before the subscri subscriber gets the item this is for the we we generally use it for the you know testing purpose or you may do some basic setup as well so we will uh, see this in later chapters but let's go ahead and try to modify this item and see what happens so let's go ahead and do the plus plus item here so basically the i, I have modified the item by one so let's go ahead and run and see what happens so as you can see that do on next is incremented by one and this makes sense right so i'm just calling the do on next here i'm getting one here for sure and it is incremented by one so it is printing two but see this this is not changing it is print still printing the one so the subscribers get the same item so it is printing one to five as you can see but the do on next is modified by one so if you modify this item it is not modified for this uh, for this subscriber so as you can see that this is just for the you know printing purpose only that we are using here so we can't modify any anything in the stream so as we are done with the do on next here we are going to see that do on complete so do on complete almost uh, works like uh, the do on next you just need to chain do on 
complete what basically happens is before we get this on completed here uh, it goes through this block so let's go ahead and see uh, what we can do here so you get basically nothing because to un on complete uh, it will not give you anything so let's go ahead and uh, print something called uh, um, do on complete and uh, say completed right so we have changed the change the change the do on complete here and uh, we are just printing something so let's go ahead and uh, try to run it and see what happens as you can see it prints out all the values and then it goes through this do on complete first then go to this complete block here so if you want to do something uh, before uh, the uh, completion happens you can do it here right so this is for this purpose here okay so i hope you found found our videos helpful and if you have any doubt about any do operators that i have mentioned here you can comment below or message me on any of my social handles and if you like today's video give that a big thumbs up that you can see below this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we upload every sunday it's me to signing off thank you for stopping by see you next sunday